Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Contemporary Arts Center. We're very excited to have you today. This is our first ever family opening with the artist, Ugo Rondonone. So before I introduce Ugo, I want to quickly say a few things. Today is a jam-packed day full of fun. So after our quick question and answer with our artist, and we might have some questions for the kids too, we would love to encourage you to head upstairs to the sixth floor, which is the Unmuseum. There are lots of projects going on, including making the coolest cloud crowns with rainbows that I've ever seen. Then when you're done, come back downstairs from 2 to 3 o'clock, and we'll be making a giant mandala to celebrate the exhibition. And then hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day, because I'm going to go home at 3. My name is Jamie Thompson. I'm the Curator of Education. And I'd like to welcome Ugo Rondonone. Ugo created this exhibit for the museum. It's the third time he's utilized children's drawings within his work. Right. We're very excited. And Ugo, very quickly, could you tell us why you chose to use children's art? Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for coming. Hello. Who was the first time in a museum here? Is this the first time for anybody? Wow. wow. Thank you very much for coming. And who saw the exhibition downstairs? Thank you, thank you very much. As you s everybody likes clowns. Say yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Wait, here. Do you guys like clowns? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> very good. So you see, I, I, I talk a bit funny because I'm an artist from Switzerland. And in Switzerland we speak German, not English. So my English is a bit not the way your mother or father sound, okay? But you understand me? Yes. Good, thank you. So first of all, I have to thank every child who did a rainbow drawing for this fantastic rainbow wall. Can we give them a round of applause? Yeah. Thank you, guys. It is the worldwide's biggest rainbow painting in the world. So thank you very much for this. Who of those children made a rainbow drawing? <gasps> oh, look wow. at how many of you made rainbow drawings. Wow, thank you. Did everybody saw its drawing? Did you found it? No? So, but you have to look hard. <laughs> I'm sure it's here. There are 5,000, so there's a lot to see. And does Everybody, ha everyone has a question. Oh, I have some questions for you. Oh. So we're going to start with a few questions and we'll open it up to the group. And as you said, I do want to recognize we have almost 5,000 drawings on this floor and on the sixth floor, if you're still looking. We also had 31 schools participate. We had seven libraries participate as well. So lots of kids all over the Cincinnati region. With that being said, my first question from Bella, age eight, is why did you pick Cincinnati for the exhibit, Ugo? Because I was invited by the director, Raffaella. So. <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> now, I like this one, too. Ben, he's from Western Row Elementary, says, what inspired you to be an artist? When, we are, when I was your age, I liked to draw. Who, is, who likes to make drawings? So you're all artists, yeah. yes? So you have to just to keep your interest in making drawings and then you become an artist if you want. That's very good advice. I like that. So a very important question from Kaylee from Mason Early Childhood Center. What is your favorite kind of art? Uh, That's a good answer. That's a very good answer. <laughs> Thank you. Of course, I like right now, every day I ch my, my taste in art change, but today, Definitely, I like this rainbow wall most. And I'm going to take a break from the questions for a minute and go ahead and let... Do I have a question in the group for Ugo? Do you have any brave ones? Does someone want to oh. have a... Yes? I like drawing rainbows all the time. You like drawing rainbows all the time. Wow. <laughs> That's good. So next time you're going to make a bagel wall, right? <laughs> next time the whole outside of the building, right? <laughs> All right, what's our next question? Do you guys have anything you want to know from the artist? Can you come a little closer? 
<laughs> um, I like to, I like rainbow. You do too? Do you have Thank you. <laughs> We're going to work on those questions. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with one from our page, and then we'll come back to the audience. And grown-ups, you're okay to ask questions, too. You're not as cute, but we'll let you answer, ask questions. So I did have a question by Nathan, and he says, who inspired you to make art? So what person in your life made you want to be an artist? I was fortunate to have a, a great art teacher in my class. Does anyone have a good art teacher in class? Good. <laughs> because that's important and that's awake my interest to do art and I have to ask my favorite question Curtis who's age eight as well says why did you choose kids to help you make art instead of grown-ups that's a very good question and I say I, everybody would agree that those are beauty beautiful drawings and those are all by children between 2 and 12 years old. So on their prime time where they, where they still can do whatever they want to do. And that's why I like children's art. All right, we've got one question over here. Could you come up here, buddy? I don't know if my cord will reach all the way. There you go. Oh. I like doing Minecraft rainbows. Do you wow. Want to, do you want to know if Ugo plays Minecraft? No. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's very good. And you're going to continue doing it, right? Why do you cool. like Minecraft so much? Because it's made of blocks. Okay, that's a good answer. <laughs> do I have any other questions? Do you guys want to know about anything in the exhibit? Do you want to know about the colors? Why does Ugo, can I ask a question? Does this, okay, tell me if this is a good question. What colors did you use and why? So here, as you can see, I used all seven rainbow colors. The rainbow has seven colors, from yellow to green. And that's what I used here in the building. Each wall is painted carefully with spray paint with one of those colors. So we are walking. So the visitor, or everybody here, is walking now, is part of a painting. We are walking through a painting. Isn't that neat, guys? You're literally walking inside of art. Your feet are on art. That's why we have these really pretty shoes on. <laughs> right. Oh, a grown-up question. Come in. Coming to me. I don't know if I can reach all the way. <laughs> can I ask a question? I like the that you're doing it at the height. Uh, <laughs> so uh, why do all the clowns look so tired? The clown here, they are exhausted a little bit. They worked very, very hard. They worked in the, cir in the circus mm -hmm. last night, and so they came here to sleep. <laughs> Does everybody like clowns? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Is, is there a circus in town once a year where you see clowns? Yeah. Have you guys seen circuses? And did you chose Come your... On. The clown that you like most in the exhibition? Is there a favorite? Yes? I, I have a favorite. It's the one in the rainbow sequins. It's okay. my favorite. Okay. So I, I, have a, I have a wish. I hope you're going to do a lot of photos with those clowns and, se and send it on Facebook, okay? Guess what? I have bad news. We can't keep Ugo here forever. He has to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I have to travel today. My car is waiting outside, and I'm going to fly off. But thank you very, very much for coming. Thank you. Guys. Thank you.